Jordan Alcoff with Marky Mark here, your host. We're going to go straight up to what's up in the NBA playoff edition. James, who are we going to predict first? Uh, the playoff prediction? I say the upsets. Let's yeah. talk about the upsets because... Yeah. Um, yeah, we can go to the West. Like, what's, um, what's, what matchup should we go first I in think the West? OKC will be Portland. Yeah. First round because okay, they have history. Of how about like, we go for, for like the first, second seed, first versus eight seed, Golden State versus LA Clippers? Like, what's your, I would say a Golden State easily. But how many games do you have them it would be, he, They will get swept. Oh yeah. my God. How about you, Monica? <laughs> what do you see about the LA Clippers versus Golden State? Once Stephen Curry and, and Draymond Green and Clay Thompson start shooting, watch out because yeah. Golden State is. Gonna take it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, how many games do you think they're gonna take uh, the the Clippers in? Do you think it's gonna be a sweep too? Three one. Three one. Golden State. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy, that's gonna. We, we all know Golden's gonna come out, right? So, mm. what about the the OKC versus Utah? Like, uh, what? I mean, I mean, Houston versus Utah. Houston what versus is, Utah. Yeah. Uh, that one will be a great matchup. I think it will go game six or seven. Yeah. Uh, it really depends on how. Um, they can stop James Harden, which is really hard. It's true. It's true. <laughs> but uh, did you see Patrick Beverly trying to like teach Jay Crowder, teach Jay Crowder yeah. how to defend James Harden? So yeah. that's gonna be that's interesting. That's gonna be interesting. What about you? Poor, uh, the Houston versus Utah game. What do you see winning? How many games do you think? Houston. Houston, eh? The numbers James Harden is putting up this year. Yeah. He's like tearing up the whole league. Nobody could stop him. <laughs> He's 36 points per yeah. game. Like, I don't yeah. know if that's going to translate like in Jordan, the playoffs. Basically. Yeah, he's basically above Jordan in yeah. terms of the points per game uh, in a season. Let's go to Portland versus OKC. What do you guys see in Portland versus uh, OKC? I would think it will be an up- upset because mm-hmm. in the season split, they're 4-0 mm-hmm. no against Portland. Mm-hmm. Portland don't have Nur- Nurkic. Mm-hmm. And then they have a history of choking in the mm-hmm. playoffs. Last mm-hmm. year, they lost to Pelicans. Mm-hmm. And this year, they probably going to lose to OKC. Ooh, what about my upset? <laughs> what about you? Like you, uh, Portland versus OKC. What do you see in this? OKC. OKC. Yeah. More on consensus. Is it just the Nurkic injury just kind of affected them in terms of? Their yeah, goal? that's very big mm. when it comes to Nurkic. Is a big factor when it comes to rebounding and sp- scoring too, right? So. Okay, awesome, awesome. What about the Denver versus San Antonio game? What do you guys see in that in that matchup? I think that would go to Game Seven too because Pop. The thing about Pop, he's really good when it comes to playoffs. He read the, the like defense, and then they see how the players play in the playoffs. And this is the first time they made the playoffs in a long time. So I think this could be an upset. But Jokic is really nice. And that's your favorite. That's player, my so. one of my favorite players in Denver. Yeah, <laughs> so, Jokic, yeah. We'll see. We'll see with this one. <laughs> how about how about you, Monique? Could you see Denver versus San Antonio? I would say five games, maybe. Five games, eh? On who? Which team? Uh, San Antonio. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, because yeah. it's like a more veteran team versus a more exp- yeah. uh, a, a more younger team, but up and coming young team. Yeah, right? exactly. So, so I mean, the- I'm pretty much aligned with you guys. I think I think Clippers is gonna get a game from Golden State because yeah. Golden State is still kind of in cruising mode. So I see a, a five a five game in, in Golden State's favor, mm-hmm. and the the Houston versus Utah. I think that's gonna be really interesting just because. I like that Utah is a very good defensive team, so I can see them really coming out yeah. and putting a being a problem to Houston because yeah. of the fact that James Harden is an offensive machine. But yeah. if you put a really good defensive team and 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 they scheme for mm-hmm. taking away the the things that James Harden does really well, yeah. you put him like maybe take out his three point shooting game, double team him, mm-hmm. and let others make the team and and let him drive to the basket. Go at Gobert. That's a really good strategy yeah. that they can do because Gobert is a really good rim protector. So if they take out the three-point game that they have, see if they can just funnel everything to Gobert. That's going to be an interesting. Yeah. They could, they could be an upset. They could upset Houston yeah, we'll if they disrupt out. the way they play. Surprising. And I mean OKC versus Portland. I think that's going to be uh, an, an interesting matchup too, just because I can't predict Westbrook in the playoffs. So <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what he's going to do. Yeah. But I still see them coming up. But maybe in six or seven games, just mm-hmm. because. I, um, Paul George is playing really well, but Damian Little is not someone to just yeah. not play games with because he's really good in the playoffs. And Denver San Antonio is probably the most unpredictable. I don't know what's yeah. going to happen, but I'm a big Denver fan. I like what they do in there. I like their team. It's very their team first. Yeah, their team first. Denver, you, yeah. you don't have a, a straight up superstar like Jokic is great, but he's not like a 
you know, he's not like a Kawhi, a Paul George, or a like uh, Steph Curry, Durant kind of player. But he's up there in terms of he sets up everybody, and I think that's going to benefit them. So I see Denver coming out in the six game streak on that. Uh, let's go to the East. So we got Milwaukee versus Detroit. What are you guys' thoughts on that on that matchup? Uh, it was very tricky with this first matchup because mm-hmm. uh, first against eight, um, Detroit have big men, and that's the only. The only way they can beat the Milwaukee was just to use Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond. But other than that, I think Milwaukee will beat them. Well, yeah, yeah, how about sure. you? They are nothing without Blake Griffin. Yeah, Seriously. Exactly. Yeah. With, with the Wayne Casey as coach, yeah. as he's done with the Raptors, <laughs> he's been he's an okay coach, but when it comes down to the stretch, yeah. he screws up. Mm-hmm. Or does something wrong with the team? Like I've I've been through the Dwayne KD era. <laughs> yeah, we feel that. Yeah, we totally. I totally agree with yeah. you on that. With regards to that. But about the, so sad, right? <laughs> <laughs> what about the Boston and the Indiana matchups? Here? It's like, what do you guys see in that game? Who do you guys see coming out of it? Uh, Boston. Mm-hmm. The thing about Boston is like, you're not surprised if they lose. The first round, you're not surprised if they make it all the way to the finals because of all they're so deep when it comes to like roster and other things like that. So I think it will go Boston. Boston? Yeah. Yeah. How about you? If, if Kyrie goes off, mm-hmm. like, he can't be stopped. Like mm-hmm. the way he handles the ball, it's, it's, it's yeah, incredible. Easy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So you see Boston coming out of it easily. Yeah. yeah. With, with, uh, Victor Oladipo and his injury mm-hmm. is gonna cost them mm-hmm. big time. True, they need that go-to score, yeah. which mm-hmm. they don't have in the playoffs. You need yeah. that in the playoffs. What about the Philly and Brooklyn game? Like, what's, swept. What's, <laughs> you're just a big. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's, this guy's a bias, <laughs> but well, I can see why. But Embiid is questionable yeah, too. Yeah, so yeah. That's the thing is, you never know with Embiid. Yeah, he's, knee, uh, he you knows, know that stuff. He, it's he's Thank questionable you. for the Saturday's game, so we'll yeah. see how that goes too. We'll see. How about you, Philly versus Brooklyn? What's your thought on that? I was. I'm gonna go the opposite, Philly. Ah, oh, Philly too. Look yeah. at that. We got two Phillies. Yeah, yeah I would go with Philly. Yeah, it's four. you guys are trusting the process this time, eh? Yeah, yeah I see that. I see that. But actually, um, for me, I Milwaukee versus Detroit. I just like the way Giannis has done yeah. what his, he has done this season in terms of solidifying himself as an MVP. Uh, candidate, I think he's gonna win it too, just because the yeah. where they are and standing wise compared to where Houston is. As as much as James Harden's been on the tear, yeah. well, I think Giannis is gonna win the MVP, and you you can count on him on that. Yeah. No one, there's no one in Detroit that can kind of guard him yeah. as much as uh, he can guard Blake. I think he's yeah, he can shut down Blake. Giannis stick in and beat like yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> so. so I don't think Blake has can guard Giannis, but I think yeah. Giannis can stop Blake. So that's yeah. kind of where the difference is. Boston, Indiana, for sure, Boston. But I think Indiana can put up a fight just because right now Boston is still trying to figure out what they are. Yeah. And it's been the whole season. They've tried that this whole season, trying to figure out what... There's just so many talent in there, and everyone can do so many things. Kyrie... Jason Tatum, Gordon Hayward, Jalen Brown. These are the type of players that can do a bunch of things yeah. in so many different ways. It, and when you have too much talent at times, it's yeah. hard to figure out what you are as a team, yeah. right? So I think Indiana can really um, give them some headaches, maybe in six. They can even take them for seven yeah. games if they really, um, if Boston doesn't figure it out. And I'm actually it's on the, the Philly versus Brooklyn game. If, if Embiid's injury right now, it's questionable. Yeah. I can see an upset with Brooklyn just because they're yeah. in, in such a... Um, I don't know about um, that. We don't need their momentum. (laughs) Their momentum. Like you're gonna see. You're gonna see. Brooklyn is nice this season. Brooklyn can upset a team that was put together. They were put together just this season. Whereas Brooklyn has been more established. They built that relationship. D'Angelo Russell is their established leader. Whereas in Philly, who? Yeah. Like Ben Simmons, who like Jimmy, who they have they have the Jimmy. same problem as Boston. Yeah. Too many superstars. And I think like the more defined yeah. you are as a team like Brooklyn, the more dangerous yeah. you are. So I'm not that 